just a brief update today just to give you a look at the finished bumper so she's all on all the corner pieces in but the trim's all in with the with the new pop rivets there quite difficult to align up these uh, there was a bit of give in them but uh, they managed to go in basically just sight them in and pop them in with a nice uh, punch and uh, it went in quite nicely the uh, I still haven't found the <laughs> the uh, amber lenses I've checked everything else I, I've come to the conclusion now that uh, I must have thrown them out so oh dear uh, everything else that I was so careful to collect and make sure they were safely stored sold I don't know the number plate uh, keeping this number plate it's quite authentic for the era it's um, <laughs> Bernard Myers and Co Walton that's where the car originated from I believe it's up near Cheddar Gorge somewhere but uh, I'd have to look it up again this is an actual metal unipart number plate that was supplied and uh, I guess I could take it off and refurbish it a bit as well give it a repaint on the edge uh, cover it up and spray it there's a bit of water ingress in there um, I think it's all pressed it's pressed in the aluminium so yeah, as you can see there you might just be able to see it on there it says unipart right right there so yeah it's uh, so this this is an actual fiberglass replacement from Rob Sport where I had to do quite a bit of work on it to actually get it to uh, the corners to actually fit in because the ledges behind weren't exactly bang on but you wouldn't know looking at this it was fiberglass at least so if you look at the uh, the crease there on the car where the join is come down to the side bit not a million miles away this side that's probably more in center line with it there come back again that's more in line center line there with it if I get it right now if you look at the way this tapers off here to about to about there if you look on this side she tapers off quite a little bit a bit more this side so it looks as if the whole thing's in this side a bit more and that could be due to the offset in the uh, the bolts I put in for the impact rubbers but apart from that she, she doesn't look too bad and she does look symmetrical so if you look at the end pieces the or the corner pieces rather she's sitting yeah, since you've got like a slight angle there, there's nothing I can do about that. It's the way it is. And if you look this side, on here, it's not. It's pretty much. Well, that's not as angled. And I've bolted everything down and tightened everything up. And yeah, there's no play in that whatsoever. And uh, but she's in. She's solid. Absolutely in and solid. So yeah. I'm going to give you a quick look beneath. I've got the uh, oh, incidentally, while I'm here, that's the uh, that's the rubber, and I should have the plate somewhere too for that. Yes, it's here. That's the plate which goes on top for the uh, for the centre console. And uh, what I have here is. Uh, two of the bushes I've got I've cleaned them up the washers and the bolts and I've got two of the poly bushes in now these poly bushes are actually black they're not blue but uh, oh you know I guess they are poly bushes and uh, so I haven't done the other ones yet because I was busy making sure that I had all the bumper on and I'm going to be quick look underneath because it is it's not exactly um, <coughs> I'll give you a look to see what's actually happening underneath with the what it looks like underneath and so as you can see on this side on that side she's not gone all the way in down here look, see she's not gone into this lip but the corners actually just about in there and if you come up this side you can see that she is pretty much in there 
up to here and so I think what needs to happen is around about this point here I'm going to show that now we're at the centre point we've got two witness marks here there's one there and it must be in the mould and a witness mark there now these are supposed to be where two screws go in self tappers go in they, all, they were in these don't line up whatsoever um, but the whole bumper itself could actually move in but I don't think there's any point doing that I'm not going to bother with those two screws I mean I, it's not, I'm not going to get much more in on that so I think for what it is it's worth just leaving as is, she's not going to come off anytime soon, not at all, it's on there pretty solid. So I'm just going to leave that I think, and uh, yeah. So next week, when I get a couple of hours, okay the video pause again, I must have run out of memory, and uh, so that was basically it really, I just reversed it in, I'll jack it up this side and get the rest of the bushes out. And I'll probably just do a video and after I've given it a test drive. I might actually film a test drive, actually. We'll see how it goes. Weather's not been particularly too good today. Um, apart from that, uh, it needs a, a good wash. And then I'll show up all the, uh, the bodywork issues with it. But I'm quite happy with that bumper. I'd be surprised how much work went into it. Uh, just, just for a bumper. Uh, yeah, I'm toying whether to, I'll see what the wheels, look, the alloys look like uh, after giving them all a good wash as well, I think. And uh, yeah, so, <laughs> gosh, I don't know why I do it to myself, but uh, I'm really, I am quite happy about this bumper though, uh, for what it was. Yeah. And the plastic trim went on quite nicely afterwards as well. So, with that, I'm just going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, it's like the next update will be for the gearbox uh, remote bushes update. Okay, bye for now.